All right, we are back today. We're going to talk about these high yield ETFs. One is Yield Max. I have bought into a couple of these, and I wonder if anybody else has bought these as well. They pay randomly from 30 up to 160%. Yes, you heard me correctly, up to 160% in uh, income each month on your investment. So, what are these things? These are options for your income. Yield Max ETFs seek to generate monthly income by pursuing options based strategies on one or more underlying securities. Uh, stuff like Tesla, MicroStrategies, Amazon, NVIDIA, blah, blah, blah. We'll go through a couple. Yield Max ETFs aim to harvest compelling yields from assets that are not typically associated with monthly income. The funds do not invest directly in the underlying stock or ETF. All right. Yeah, it's all based on options, right? And then each month you get paid out a nice juicy dividend. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they risky? And it is income. You're going to pay tax on it, right? Everyone's afraid to talk about taxes, but uh, you can go through an IRA as well and not worry about the taxes as uh, income. So there's an option there. But again, you can't touch that until your uh, retirement age. So you have to plan accordingly. Is it right for you? Is the risk right for you? And is there a downside? Is, is there an upside? Uh, let me see here. Let's go through a couple here. Uh, yieldmaxetfs.com. Just do yieldmaxetfs. You'll find the link. And let's go in through here. Here they are. Look at them all. You have a short option income. They just started this one called Crash. It is based on Tesla short option income. So basically, uh, Tesla starts crashing, crash will go up. That's my understanding. I do own a little bit of it, and it has to act accordingly, inversely of Tesla's uh, price movement. Uh, Tesla is coming up on an earnings in 30 days. I don't know, man. I don't know about you. I've been looking at the news. I've been looking at the stockpiling of uh, EVs, Hertz dumping all their Teslas, flooding the used car market with Teslas for under 20000 bucks. Tesla missed its numbers a couple months ago. Uh, this earnings report should be horrific, I think, for Tesla, which will probably help to tank the Tesla stock. That's just my two cents. Coming from my uh, public school education brain, uh, I could be wrong, which I usually am, but you never know. In that case, this crash is an inversion in, uh, of the Tesla stock movement, and it should go up accordingly when Tesla crashes. But it went up. I mean, Tesla's a weird nut. It's overvalued. The stock actually ticked up when people, the stockholders approved Musk's billion dollar payout. I actually had an option. I did own Tesla before stock and I voted no. I voted against all the share uh, board members. I did recommendations. I said, no, you know what? The stock's tanking. Those cars aren't selling. Don't give this guy billions of dollars. He should give it back to the shareholders, right? No, no, no. Doesn't work that way, Big Jim. It doesn't work that way. Smack, shut down and eat your cupcake. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm looking for crash. I think it should go up. I think Tesla should crash, but you never know with Tesla. It's just weird. They might start selling technology over cars. I don't know. I have no idea. But uh, that's one thing they just came out with is crash. And big one, of course, is the uh, YMAX. That's one that's popular. And let's just go through. There's Misty which is MicroStrategies, Amazon, Tesla. Tesla actually will go with the stock price of Tesla up and down. Uh, risky one, they're all risky, right? Amazon, uh, Amazon's not going anywhere, right? There's an AMZY, -E go check them out, man. Check them out, do your research, man. You are just with me today, following my journey as I learned. Like, like I said, I went to public school. I am not the smartest cookie in the uh, potato field, whatever that means, and uh, I'm just trying to learn as I go. And uh, the way I looked at it, this is stupid. This is my uh, gambling money. I have stuff in Bitcoin, lots of derivatives like the Bitcoin miners, which are doing quite well. I have a Bitcoin ETF, which I think I got too much in it. I got I to gotta wait till it kind of breaks even and get some of that out and diversify more. I got too, too much into an ETF, which I'm not getting anything out of right now. It's just sitting there, right? I want to get dividends. I want to get income. That's why I like these uh, yield max products. That's why I like them. I want to be paid like a dividend stock while I hold their stock, right? Right now I'm holding these ETFs, I'm getting nothing. And then with August coming up, they'll reinstate or they'll actually activate their fees 
And then uh, when I go to sell, I'll pay these huge hefty fees and these ETFs. And I hope to get out before August time frame. Uh, maybe diversify and other stuff as well. That's my plan, right? Nah, we'll see how that goes. So anyway, here we are looking at all the options on your max products. And uh, like I said, right now, I did dump most of my dividend income stocks. I have a few index funds. But uh, my thought now is I'm making 5% in a money market on the heft of my investments. Again, it's just a simple 5%, which is a good concrete base. But again, you're not going to get wealthy. It's kind of just holding your value. Even with inflation, you're kind of behind the curve. But um, the only way I see you're going to make some real money is you got to take some of these risks. So here we got some of these yield mask. Yield max ETFs. And we're looking at where's the one I like? Let's go to the table. You can go through all this crap. High potential income. Uh, they've been around, they started at 20 bucks. You can also trade them short if they zoom, zoom up in price. Man, you can just trade them based on stock value of the ETF or just hold them for the monthly income. And uh, I have proof. I've held some of these over 30 days and have gotten a payout. And I'm like, what? Unbelievable. They actually did pay out. And uh, which one was that? Mine is Misty, MicroStrategy. So let's go look at that one. That is the one I have to talk about, I can talk about. I do have Crash as well. And that's paying at, look, 59.87%. Misty is 124. It's actually higher. When I got paid out a, couple, a week or so ago, it was 154%. And I made a nice little chunk of change. And I did it to cash. And then all I did is I could have reinvested dividends. I just went manually reinvested it, but I could set up on my brokerage account to manually automatically reinvest the dividends into the back into the ETF. Uh, right now, I'm just going to push it to cash and make a decision as I go, as I get it each month. Even though a couple of weeks or once I did get the dividend last week, I did just went and repurchased just to keep snowballing, compounding the uh dividends back into the into the uh the actual etf that's that's my plan right now but you could just start accumulating cash once you get the payout on these things maybe in 10 months or so with the misty you could break even in that you uh recovered your initial investment and then you could well let's say you put in a thousand bucks whenever you know you recover that after make 150 percent a month take out your initial investment and let the house money ride and then take that money and invest it elsewhere. Spread the seed, right? Anyway, that's the plan right there. Let's go find Misty. Misty, so let's do this. This is their site. It's not updated every second. This is just a static page. So let's go look at what I look at here. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna bring up Trading View. And I've been seeing more videos pop up of the Yield Max products. It makes me nervous because I'm hoping it's not a fly by night thing where I lose all my money. But there is some track record with these things been around at least six months or so. So that's kind of good. And they did do the payout. But again, having come from the Voyager and BlockFi uh, experience, I'm very cautious. <laughs> but again, playing it safe is good for your core investment, 5% and maybe an index fund, but sometimes you just gotta let the dice roll like you're gambling. I don't know, that's just my philosophy, and it never really works out, but why not try it, right? There's only so many days left on this planet, so might as well take some risk. And again, this is just my entertainment uh, journey you're going along with me, as I try to see what works best for me. Not everyone's situation is the same, and uh, this is all through IRA stuff, I'm doing this, uh, so there you go, I won't be able to touch it for a while, but. This is what I'm doing. So here we go. You can go over here. This is tra uh, trading view. Let's bring up, where are we? Crash. All right. I think I'm down from when I bought it. But again, once it loads, you can see right here, it's pays a 60%, 59.64. Yeah, you're, you're seeing that correctly. It's very high dividend. So you can see the movement on it. And again, these things love volatility. That's where they make the, the money for you. And each month when they pay out, the share price is adjusted accordingly, like with any dividend stock. You know, say it's a $200 and then you're gonna pay out a, uh, your dividend's gonna drop because they gotta pay out that money to all their shareholders. So let's see, where are we? 
Misty, M-S-T-Y. This is MicroStrategies, Michael Saylor. He is Mr. Bitcoin. He loves himself some Bitcoin. So again, this is down. I'm underwater if you go by the stock price, but I really don't care because I plan to hold this thing. But look at this guy. It's right here. Do you see my mouse? Look at that. Look at that. 168.86. That is not a typo. So you say you have, um, I don't know, as of last month, it was 150%. I saved 10,000 bucks. You actually will get a deposit. You'll make 1,500 bucks approximately, right? On your money. And that ain't no joke. And I did. I took it. I got it as cash in my account. And I went and just reinvested it back into Misty. So compound, compound, snowball. And then that's where I'm at right now with that. Do you guys know any of this stuff? And that's why I'm posting this. This is what I'm doing. I'm just playing around. It's not my financial advice. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm an idiot in an office with a microphone with a dog looking at me going, what are you talking about? And uh, just my journey, having fun with this crap. And uh, my goal is to learn from others by posting this stuff. I know there's other people posting videos out there. Joe Schmo's like me, just trying to figure it out, trying to, trying to get ahead. But I know they're not going to let you win, like in the old GameStop days on um, that horrible, horrible, horrible platform, Robinhood. Do not use Robinhood. Remember how they shut it down for regular people like me and you who were trying to game, you know, get ahead in the system by playing the game, by the shorting the stock on AMC and GameStop? And then the one guy was making too much money, so they stopped it. They stopped all trading on it. It was just so evil. And they pretty much exposed the game that it is a big club and we ain't in it. So they don't want us to win. They don't want the common man to win. It's all for the big boys. But again, if I can get some crumbs here and there, knowing that the system is gamed, it's rigged. If I can just get through and make a couple bucks and uh, live comfortably, I'll be happy. I know I'm not going to be able to do the billions and millions like other people. You'll never get there because they don't want you to. They're not going to let you. They're going to shut down the system if they see you're win winning. And again, the whole Reddit or the Wall Street bets thing, the uh, GameStop, AMC thing last year proved, or a couple, was it a year or so ago? Proved that it's all rigged. So you just got to get the crumbs, let the big boys get the big bucks, let them do all their little perverted stuff. And then you just fall behind and get some crumbs and you, uh, you uh, live a nice, comfortable, quiet life, right? Right. That's the game plan. And uh, that's my journey, right? That's all I'm trying to do. So this is where I'm at. Check out these things. Let me know what you think. Are they too high risk for you? If you do not do them in an IRA account, if you do it in an aftermarket and after brokerage and after tax uh, investment account, you will have to, you know, be treated as income. So you get extra income, not qualified dividends. So just be aware of that. Uh, again, if you're in a normal brokerage, you're going to get your statements each year and what you pay in your taxes. Don't worry about that. Uh, this, the secret is make the money first. Make the money first and then worry about your damn taxes, right? You're going to get a statement on it next year. Here's what you owe. Here's your cap gains. Here's your income, blah, blah, blah. And you just put it in a, what is it, 1099, whatever div, B, whatever the hell it is, int, interest. And uh, you just report it. That's all easy peasy, man. Uh, yeah. So, you, you know, even if you're getting all this money, you, you know, you pay your, your, pay your, uh, your pound of flesh to the government and they'll, they'll send all your money overseas to some godforsaken country. And uh, we'll never see it again. And now they want to send our kids over to die in these godforsaken countries. Yeah. When does it end? <laughs> it just never ends. It's just a, it's just a, uh, just a, what do you call it? Same old pattern repeats every 80 years. Same old crap. You know, human, human nature just never changes. But again, the thing is just try to find, find a way through it. Gamify the system. Try to find the crumbs. Get the doubles. Build up your wealth bit by bit and try to just get through each day, man. All right. That's what I'm doing. Well, let me know what you're doing. I still hold a lot of stuff in the Bitcoin sphere, the domain, the ecosystem. I am not mining anymore. It was just a big waste of time and money and noise and energy. Blah. And uh, my equipment is not even worth anything. Now. I can sell my CPUs for pennies on the dollar. It's just not worth it. I'm just going to just keep them here. Maybe throw them in a box. I don't know. Maybe I can make some, I could probably make some PCs out of them and sell them because they're still pretty performant. Uh, I just need a case. Yeah, that might be an idea. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm on a Mac, which is, I'm amazed it's still working. It's a 2016. And uh, yeah, actually, that's pretty good for a Mac. Piece of craps. Uh, yeah, you drop them barely and they freaking f uh, fragment into a million pieces. But yeah, maybe I'll make a laptop. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at these ETFs. What are you guys doing? Let me know. Please post below. I want to learn from you guys. If it's a uh, run clear, stay away from these things. Let me know. But right now, 
it's looking good. I'm not looking at the share price. I'm looking at the monthly income and I like it. It's looking good.